Hey, Richard Beach here from SonicState.com. We're at the NAM 2014 show at the Jim Dunlop booth, and we've got loads of pedals to go through now. I'm with Bob from Jim Dunlop. We've got Brian Keogh behind us, the man with the best beard in rock and roll. So it's going to be a good video, ladies and gents. So where are we going to start? Well, thanks for coming by, and I'm glad you asked, because we're going to start with a Phase 99. This pedal is two Phase 90s in one, inspired by and developed uh, with uh, Paul Gilbert. He uses two Phase 90s separate. But we put it in one box, so for ease of use, it's got a couple cool different features. You can run the two in parallel or serial, or you can run both in sync so they operate at the same frequency as speed modulation, or separate, two different speeds. It also has a button that you can go from vintage, which is more subtle without the feedback, or block logo, which has a feedback term in it so it accentuates the effect. But enough of my talking, let's just listen to it. Right now, they're in series. I'll put them in parallel. Or that, I'm sorry, that's in parallel. Now they're in series. So now one is going into the other, still with two different frequencies. And that's parallel. And this is more in your face. The effect is more pronounced in the block setting, block logo setting, that's a script logo setting. Now I'm going to put them in, ser in synchronized with each other, so they're both moving at the same rate. We have a stereo rig, which you probably can't hear at this point, but um, you can run it in mono or stereo. Running it in uh, stereo really gets a great stereo big image. So that's new for 2000, uh, 2014, if you can believe it. Okay, so moving to the Microamp Plus. The Microamp Plus EQ, and that's what it stands for. So, did you get a lot of people asking for this on the Microamp? Well, yeah, you know, a lot of times people will boost up the signal, which the Microamp does great. Yeah. But especially if you have an amp that's just ready to go over the over the bridge, and you boost up the output to give it the crunch, sometimes the bottom gets a little bit too tubby, or it starts to get a little bright. So this is the way to get around those little problems or the asyncrasies. Also, it's kind of cool the way that if you started off with no gain, I can actually boost the treble up and the bass up. And I voice the treble and bass so that it's very musical, it's not very sharp. So that it just kind of takes out that little maybe mid-range that can get in the way of other things and makes it bigger. Or, let's say if I boosted things up, but now I want to take some of that top off, and if it got a little tubby, I can break that bottom off too. So now it's more rock and roll. Without it, oops, with it. So, my grand plus it takes it to a new dimension with this. Yeah. two simple tone controls. Moving over here to the swollen pickle, George is known for his tweak abilities and things, and a lot of them was an internal. So what George did was he shrunk down the footprint of the swollen pickle and of also the tweaks. Now we're all brought up to the top. Now this is not for the faint hearted. This is a very swollen, fuzzy, pickly sound. But with the controls, you can tailor things extreme. Like basically you're changing components within the device. So it gives all the tweakers delight, but you don't have to open up the box. It takes a smaller footprint to do all the to get all the sounds. Swollen Pickle, new for 2014. Now, on the same vein as a fuzz, this is a transistor realization of a fuzz. And it has also a little secret feature, it's kind of got an octave up. Okay. So, we'll just turn it on, pretty much straightforward. Get back that gain down. Just really nasty, spitty. To over the top, tone control. But here's the octave up. All the nastiness that a fuzz brings, a small footprint, 
Bomb machine. Yeah. The super badass distortion. The name actually kind of says it. It's a really super badass distortion for one very important reason. It goes from almost to a clean boost all the way to super saturation. And right now, I'll start it off with the gain all the way down. With the, with the EQ flat. On. Now I'll start bringing in that distortion. A little bit overdrivey. Start getting into distortion. And then I'll go for it. And Brian is playing on P90s now and it's screaming. I could get a scoop sound. A lot of variation with the EQ. Yeah. Super Badass. 2014, we released in the summer, so get on board. Two hardwire bypass as well. And I think people were pretty excited when they heard about the La Machine. Uh, yeah. you know, Super Badass is a great pedal as well. When, when are the new pedals available? Uh, are they all going to be available around the same time? Well, that's a good question. Well, the Super Badass is shipping right now, yeah. and I believe the La Machine is in the works, if not already shipping. I believe it's already shipping. Brian, can you add to that? I know nothing! <laughs> but I believe the Super, uh, the, the Microamp Plus and the La Machine is shipping. Okay, great. Uh, as far as the Swollen Pickle, I'm not, I'm really not sure. You stumped the band. Sorry, man. They only tell me so much information. They want to get anybody in trouble. It, 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 it's, it happens a lot, so you'd yeah. be surprised how often that happens. And uh, we ask people how much Something's going to cost when it comes out and when it's available, and we just get a death stare from the person we're interviewing. But uh, that glaze over. Yeah, but uh, you know, I know that a lot of our readers in particular were excited to hear the La Machine, so you heard it there, and uh, we think it's shipping. So there you go. Thanks for watching. We'll have another video from Jim Dunlop uh, after this one. So SonicState.com forward slash amped for more stuff from Jim Dunlop and everybody at NAM 2014 this year.